welcome to the second episode of my Let's Play Shogun 2 Total War Fall of the Samurai, featuring Nagaoka. Uh, my first battle was a very interesting one, in my opinion. I was vastly... well, I was... yeah, I was vastly outnumbered. And he had better units than me. He had um, three units of Yarikachi and three units of Levi Line Infantry. And, uh, you know, all the other stuff. So, it was just... it was an excellent battle, to be honest. And uh, I'm very glad I won it. And... <laughs> Yeah, my Yarikachi were quite um, decisive in this battle. They lost most of their men. However, they gained f they gained three experience levels and they killed over 500 guys. That is just excellent. And my gen general's units, who were only 60 guys to begin with, lost about well, you know, almost two thirds of their of their f units, but they killed 224 units or guys. That's almost four people each in the unit kill. Excellent. And yes, my Daimyo will get a well-deserved promotion after that battle. I must say, that was excellent. Ah, yes, and I can promote one of my generals. Now, it's this guy. He's a Daimyo, isn't he? Yeah, and he's a son The reason I'm looking at this is because I could use my... Uh, Geisha, which is actually in this city. She should be uh, helping me to inspire my troops. Immediately. There we go. Could use her to take over his general. Now the question is, do I want to finish off his troops? And uh, the answer is resounding, yes, I do. However, I do not want to lose these two guys, so I'm going to send them back. Just in case. I'm also going to bombard him a bit. Yes, excellent. And there we go. Lost a couple of levy infantry, but I finished them off. And uh, that's fine with me. That's a good trade. Ready for battle. I'm gonna send my daimyo into this unit because Ready that unit is the one on my border, on my side of the border, so they can actually regenerate a bit. Now to upgrade my guy. We learn skill over turn now. Minus five percent chance of being assassinated. Yes. Because he's my daimyo, I need to keep him safe. Now, with this guy, I will be doing a lot of attacking, so I think I'm going to stay to the... Uh, use the attacking tree. There we go. And I need to recruit a lot more people, because I lost... I would say most of my... most of my army. And it's going to take me a long time to replenish all my units. Ah, yes, I've forgotten. I can hire a shinobi, or ninja, as they're known, in the west. My lord. Excellent, excellent. Now then, that was a very healthy and good battle. I still can't believe I won it. It was excellent, to be honest. Ah. These guys are hostile do to me. Do not expect tea. However, that I do not want them to be hostile with me, because, uh... They're just by one of my most underfeathered cities, as well Let us as of these guys, but... Okay, they did they did not want a trade agreement either, so... I'll give them military time. access, why not? I also... I'll see if Sendai... They're still friendly with me, so they want... Welcome, okay, they want an alliance. Excellent. Why would I give them military access? Will you give me some money? Because I need money. 4,000, no. Or what about 3,000? Yes. Excellent. Excellent. This way I have uh, quite a bit of money. And if they start, if he starts sending an army this way to my capital, I'll just tell him to fuck off. No more military taxes. Of course, I might push him into war, but if he's sending an army this way, then he's going to declare war on me anyway. Now, I need to recruit more ships. I'm going to build another Kasuga class. It is my favorite ship class, because um, it is the most powerful of the corvettes, but its upkeep is not that much higher than the others, as you can see, you know. And it has a lot higher morale compared to the two other corvettes you can have. Yes. It has a higher upkeep, and it takes one turn longer to build, but I think that's fine in uh, times of uh, peace when you don't really want, well, I'm not at peace, but... 
In times like this, when you don't need a fleet like that quickly, then you can spend the time, an extra turn, to build a better ship. And I believe that's all for this turn. I'm going to wait until the Samurai Dojo is finished. However, actually, I can build a couple of Yariki units, and I, I want at least one of them. Yariki is one of my favorite units. I use it in... Uh, this is actually the first game that I play pr multiplayer a lot, and I use them a lot in the multiplayer, as uh, I assume other people do as well. Well, as I've seen other people do. Oh, and Sendai are at war with Sado. Looks like Sado is at war with pretty much everyone. I'll have to check that out. I believe Sunpu is going to attack Noshinano, which is my uh, my province down here in the south. So I need to finish off my Samurai Dojo and get some uh, Katana Samurai down there ASAP. My lord. Oh, I like this. That he's just leaning on his uh, banner when he's uh, very wounded, when he is wounded. I think that's a new thing because I haven't seen that before. It's just my nice. Sword you, my lord. Oh yes, and it's summer, so all my units will replenish faster, which is excellent. Still more Levy infantry. More of them, more of them. I love Levy. Yes, so my little... Actually, since I have trade agreement with these guys, I can see what they're doing. So I'll just send my Shinobi to my army. Give them some extra moves. Everyone has big armies but me. What? Oh, Sendai is under attack. Morioka. Or however you pronounce it. I believe they're up uh, in this little province right there. So I'll just enter war on the side of my allies. Why not? Be a loyal friend. And my Kosuga class is finished. Excellent. And looks like Sado is having fun messing up uh, Echu. That's fine, I'm gonna bombard the uh, enemy's army instead. He is on his own territory and he does have a general with him, so it's, it's not like I'm gonna, you know, weaken their armies by a lot. But still, it's, uh, it's nice to just mess it up a little. Is there nothing else? I'm going to adjust that range. I'll put him on these little crossroads right here. Excellent. And my Yariki is finished. Excellent. Having a cavalry unit in your army gives you just so much more possibilities in a field battle. Oh, and my uh, Samurai Dojo is finished. Excellent. I can make a Tanakachi. With uh, these two Katanakachi and maybe one more, I will not have to fear these armies at all. What is Obama doing here? Oh. Okay. Looks like my little training partner just got his ass whooped. Now, this, you know, getting extra generals is a good thing. However, all the other generals will lose one loyalty whenever you recruit someone. So I don't like to do that. I like to actually steal generals from my enemies. Like, yeah, uh, this guy, unless he's a daimyo. I actually think he's a daimyo, so that won't be possible, but... Yes, my lord. That is definitely Your someone I would consider lord. stealing. Now, I need more melee units in this army. I only have two. I could use some more Yarikachi, to be honest. However, I have Katanakachi on the way first, so that'll be the priority for now. I believe I can turn on taxes here again, because uh, next turn, two of my guys will finish. So that way I'll make a lot more money, and money is good. Sendai so and friend. Takayama. I'm and allied with Sendai, so I do not want to, you know, look like I'm friendly with Sado. Is that 
really what I want. No. I want uh, consular court. That way I can... Uh, I can get cordial relations. You know what, actually, I, I'm going to have to build arms deals. Uh, because uh, because I built a samurai dojo, I lost one modernization. And uh, I, I'm going for full modernization, that's what I'm doing. I want railroads, I want uh, Gatling guns, I want Armstrong guns, I want all that good stuff. So, uh, because of this building right here, it uh, gives you minus one modernization. Yeah, there you go. You can see that my modernization efforts are not actually, you know, progress towards the next plan le development level is zero. I have nothing that gives me more, which is very bad. I need to capture the city of Kaga. That is where I'm going to do all my recruiting because it has the smithy, which I'll upgrade to a gunsmith. So I'm actually going to just have to start attacking, to be honest. That's correct, there is no high honor. Steady as we go. Prepare the guns. Hmm. Got an experience level on one of my uh, Corvettes, the starter Corvette. That's not bad. That's probably the main reason to just bombard whenever you can, because you get experience levels on your ships, which can be a huge difference in a battle. Now, Obama is coming up the way towards Kaga. He just captured the city south of Kaga, the one I was saying I'm going to take over. That is bad, because I want that city. And Sendai is actually losing. Well, he lost one province. My sword for you, my lord. Ready for orders. I have numerical superiority, but uh, yeah, as you can see, it's not a battle that will favor me. So I'm just gonna keep sieging. Ready and to and glory. Yeah, I'm gonna keep sieging. Hopefully, he'll attack me and I'll be able to uh, take him out when while I'm on the defense, which is to be honest where I'm most comfortable. I'm gonna send my little spell of this way. Need more melee units. There we go. The Yarikachi is for the army, while the Katanakachi is for the city, Noshinani. I'm also keeping my son in this city because I expect I'll have a lot of action here. I expect my enemies will try and get it, or my uh, trading partners, they'll backstab me and they'll try to get it. Matsumoto, I do not believe I have a trading agreement with them. No. Oh, okay, I do, but they're hostile. Obama is friendly. And, uh, My friend, welcome. Yeah. Come, speak your wisdom, and I will give your words due consideration. A hundred. No. Okay. Three hundred. Okay. What? What do you want then? Eight hundred. Consider my words with care, and likewise your response. This clan imports these goods, and I have silk. It doesn't export anything to me though. Like, how much would I make in a trade agreement with him? Okay, so it'll take quite a few turns for that to pay off. I'll just wait until he gets a trading uh, trading resource. The reason he doesn't want a trading agreement with me right now is because I will make more than him. Because I have a trading resource and he doesn't. So I'll make more than him in a trade agreement and uh, there's no real reason for them to do that then. Because while it might make them a little stronger, it'll make me a lot stronger by comparison. And since we're all potential enemies, that's not a good thing for them to do. Which is very understandable. I wouldn't do it either. Well, I would, but then I'm then again I'm very confident that I can actually win this. Hmm. Defile of fire. Yeah, if this this bloke just attacked me, that would be great, because uh, I'll be able to defeat him in battle. Saber cavalry. Saber cavalry is nasty. They're slow as hell, but once they reach your troops, they just chew them up like crazy. And it's also one of the reasons I like Yariki because Yariki will just destroy them. Because they're spearmen on horses, so they get all the spearmen bonuses, and they have the speed bonus of horses. Right, looks like I'll just have to wait until I get more units. Now, usually in a game, you want to be quick 
when you begin. You want to capture a lot of territory quickly. However, I'm doing the uh, slow and careful approach right now. And there we go, finally. I've been attacked. I actually think there's no point in finding this myself. Because it's very easy. As you can see. I lost... Th this is the bug I was talking about earlier. Not a bug, but it's, an, it's very annoying. You just lose... Arbitrarily lose your melee units. This is, I think this is because... Uh, the engine, or the... Whatever that is used to calculate that result results... Is from Shogun 2. So, uh... Gunpowder units are oddly represented in this... Uh, Counts. Now this city will surrender next time, so I'm not going to bother assaulting it and losing more troops, because he'll likely attack and try to attack me again. Ready for battle. There we go. Excellent. Arm seals. Blah blah blah. Yes. Great. I do not have a very good income right now. 882. Oh, 787. Yay. And I'm still recruiting a lot more troops, but uh, I believe once I capture enough territory, it'll be fine. And yes, once again. Excellent. In the high difficulty levels, you lose a lot uh, when you auto resolve compared to what you normally would. Which is um, a bad thing. <laughs> because it really shouldn't affect that, I think. But, uh, eh. Well, then again, when you fight the battle yourself, it's harder, supposedly, so, I guess that's why. Right then, I'll make a cottage industry just to get that modernization, because I need modernization quite badly. I'm almost done researching all I can. Well, actually, I have these, so I have 12 turns left. Mods. Mods. Now then, here's Autumn. I'll just keep recruiting troops over here and sending them over. Why not? My income jumped a little bit when I got at you. It's not that profitable, but it's good enough. I can always turn up taxes, uh, but I don't really want to do that. Yeah, doing the old sabotage thing. Very annoying. However, he's straight too close to my army and I was going to die. No problem. Now, in a proper battle, I would actually lose quite a few guys because of those with four yard catcher units. And they'd be able to close on these levy infantry with their little sprint thing and do a hell of a lot of damage. In fact, they would probably try to. They would probably kill an inexperienced commander. Fortunately, though, I know I had to counter a uh, melee unit spam. That's. Uh, <laughs> Multiplayer teaches you how to do that. Oh, that is a nice one. Yeah, I'm gonna take that one. And uh, this one is good for any uh, for any admiral. However, I am going to save all my points on admirals for these four right here. So I'm gonna take it on my daimyo. Why not? No, uh, I believe. Yeah, Takayama has Hida left, because I just crushed his armies and took one of his provinces. Hopefully he'll want peace with me. And he speak does. Speak, if you must. But speak if carefully, I'm making my vassal, if you value your I don't want to make him my vassal. Uh, it does give me... Yeah, it actually does give me honor. You know what, I'm just going to make him my vassal. Why not? There we go. And I'm going to try to... Make this guy friendly with me. Excellent. Now, the reason I hesitated when I was going to make this guy a vassal is because uh, if he now gets attacked and I say no to joining him, I lose honor. However, I just gained one honor from uh, making him a vassal. As you can see, you know, vassal is established. Plus one. So, you know, it, it'll even out anyway. I'll have plus one in the meantime, so that's great for me. Now, what kind of soil do I have? Mega soil, okay. Uh, in case you're wondering, you can see that on the left. You see where uh, it says 550 with two earth generator, but from France in this province, etc., etc. 
so substance farming and meager soil. Now meager is the uh, default one. Uh, so this value that says right here, that is for meager farms. When you get fertile, it um, doubles. When you get very fertile, it triples. Or something like that. It, it, there's a system like that to it. So it's also barren, I believe, is half of what uh, normal is. Uh, but yeah, meager is the common one. That's the one in the most places. Yeah, meager, meager. Uh, I believe this area over here is very fertile. Uh, this is Sado. This is Sado territory. And uh, I'm actually going to attack Sado. Hmm. Yes, I believe I'll have to do that. Uh, but in first, I have to recruit more more troops. Yes. It's also good to recruit as many of these uh, traditional units as you can before you get more modernization, because they get to experience at, at this modernization level. They get that for free just for having a very non-modern society. I'll probably end up losing my vassal very soon, to be honest, because uh, <laughs> I destroyed his uh, armies. Excellent, excellent. And my shinobi got a level. What does he get? Escape. Plus one. Yeah, I'll have him escape. Why not? Sabotage armies. Yes. This guy is an army. Shinobi. He's uh, basically a spy or a scout. Something like that. Now, when I've finished these two, then my army will be done and I will be ready to attack Sado. As you can see, he does have quite a few troops. Oh, this has a cadet school and he has the blacksmith. I want that province so bad. Yes, I did just make that sound. Okay then. I'm also going to make more katana kachi, and I'm going to send them around, you know, just to get uh, defense in all my cities. They're just such an awesome defensive unit. They're also good for taking cities in the same way, because uh, in long drawn out combat where you actually have to finish off your enemy, then nothing beats the katana kachi. Well, the uh, um, shogitai beat them, but they're beefed up versions. So excellent, excellent. Now does anyone have any armies nearby that can threaten me? He does, but it's still Yeah, I'll risk it. I'll risk it. Marching now. Now, where is Sado's little uh, fleet? Because we might have a first fleet battle. I should actually recruit another ship before that happens. I'll recruit one next turn if I can afford it. I don't actually think I can, though. And he just moved his entire army up to Nortal. Why? I don't know. But... Yeah, I'll just keep this fleet here as a lookout for now. I can't afford the Kazuga class, can I? No. <laughs> I'm uh, less than 100 short. Oh well. Now this little town I could take very easily with a small force. 
However, I think I'm just going to crush his main army first. I'm hoping he's going to put that back into Kaga. Or better yet, put it, in, put it on his ships. And I can attack his ships and if I sink them all, I'll kill them all. And he's just he keeps recruiting troops in uh, Kaga. And it's not bad troops either, it's line infantry which are excellent. Any of those? Any of those guys? Uh, no. Okay. Are any of those guys just a general, not a uh, son or anything? I can actually just send my shinobi. No. Okay. You are bidding? Hi. Yeah, just get back in there. Music lifts the soul. That's right, music lifts the soul. It does, it does. It is you know what, I'm actually gonna have my fleet on this side. Uh, this way I can protect my little port. And I'm gonna make one more Lev infantry. Make haste, man! All right. And yes, my vassal is about to get trashed. Which is good, because uh, if he gets trashed before anyone else attacks him, then I only won't have to worry about losing any honor. Ready for orders. Ah, and winter is come. Just as I prepare to attack. At your command. Ready for orders. You have further orders. Damn, that is a sizable army. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna do something very naughty. I'm going to leave three Yari Kachi here and uh, yeah, most of my levies. Here we go. Your next and I'm going to send my army done. out to that steal Kaga. Sad. And if he now, that way, he'll probably attack Etchu when I do that. However, that is fine by me. Yes, I'm gonna have to. No, I'm not gonna wait a turn. Declare war. Yes. He has no allies. He has no friends. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Now then, he will have to attack either Etchu or Kaga. And I've taken out his equipment center. Which is good. If he attacks at you, I just left four, you know, three Yarikachi there and uh, a couple of other units, but uh, oh, and I actually have a couple of Katana Kachi as well. So I'll send the one of these over this way. I can reach it in time, but that's fine. Okay. Excellent. Everything is going according to the plan. Now he will probably blockade. <laughs> Sorry. Blockade my port over here. But. Uh, Probably won't do too much. Lose a couple of hundred, maybe 300 gold each turn. That's fine by me. And there we go. I lost my vassal. Excellent. Oh, and he didn't reach it. So I can actually kill him before he uh, blockades it. Excellent. Excellent. Now I lost trade with two of my friends. Let me listen to your offer. Now, since and I bought Obama, maybe he wants. Uh, yep, he wants uh, military access now. They don't want military access unless you actually border them. And these guys Welcome have a lot of resources, friend. so I'm not really surprised that they want to trade with me.
Why am I at war with Morioka? I have better things to do than listen to an old woman's prattle. Speak and try to make Whoops. sense. Ah, yes, those are the guys that I assumed and I was going to crush, but they didn't. Because they suck. So, yeah, I've created a monster. Damn. Guess I'll just have to make a uh, Sankatana Kachi to hold a Chigo. And I'm going to have to crush this little... Attack. This ship right here. Ready now, even though it's not in range, that's fine. I'll just do a little trick like this. And because I want experience on my Admiral, I'm going to do something very naughty, which you should never do. Don't do this at home. There we go. And now my channel is in the new ship, and you can see still move. There we go. Like I said, don't try this at home. This is a ship that's very horrible. I hate this. The Kanrin Madu class. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. So, just going to disband that bastard. And there we go. Now, I'm curious as to what he's going to do. I'm not going to start a siege until the winter is over. Damn, line inventory is expensive. I wonder, Aizu has a huge, uh, huge army. If he is at war with the same guys as I am, I could maybe use him as a buffer. And there we go. Oh, he did, didn't see. <coughs> Sorry. Ah, yes, there we go. Right. I'm going to have to fight this battle myself, but you will see exactly what I'm talking about. So I'll see you on the battle map.